Ashley here from Scott County International, Northern Ireland office, and tonight we're going to have a play with the three Hick Micro Falcons, the FQ50, the FQ35 and the FH35. We're going to compare them all together at once. Welcome to the Night Vision Show. So folks, we're back again to another Hick Micro demonstration, uh, a bit like the Lynx that we did the last time. Exact same place, exact same probably time of year. There's still no real foxes about here. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to, tonight, we're going to have the FH35 here. We have an FQ50 which these two are kind of the two hottest Hick Micros on the market at the moment. But also, we've got the FQ35, which is kind of in between the FQ50 and the FH35. It's the FQ sensor, but it's got the 35 lens. So a lot of people have been asking, since they've seen the wee Lynx video that we did, um, comparing the, the three or four different Lynx, we, uh, they wanted to do the same again, so we can show people exactly the difference and an FH sensor, which is the 384 sensor, or the um, FQ, which is the 640 sensor. So the plan of attack tonight is, we're gonna take three Recon Wicked Light tripods. We're gonna set them up in the exact same place as we had the links. We're gonna put the three units on at the same time. We're gonna video everything in the exact same scenario at the exact same targets so everybody can see the difference between the two. So last year, as I'm sure you were all aware, we had some hired help. And the hired help last year, we had trouble getting him, but he's back from his holidays in the Bahamas with all the money that we got him. Dave's back, Dave's back. So we had to pay him a bit more money this time, but we weren't sure if we were gonna get Dave. So we put the call out to another agency to find something else and the best we can come up with this time was Chris this is Chris Chris the pig some people say that he's slightly boring but that's still to be decided so we've got Chris the pig Dave the fox and I've also got Cahill, our new member of Scott County Northern Ireland Pro Staff. And between the four of us, we're going to try and show you some uh, some good footage and hopefully you'll like it. Stay tuned. Right. We're just going to set these up here. As you can probably see, we're in the exact same position as we were the last time with the links. Bottom of the lane there is about 95 yards, it's almost 100 yards from here to there. So, we're just going to set up the tripods here. These uh, Wicked Recon tripods are they're great for lots of things, not just putting your gun on, but for demonstrations like this as well, or camera work, or or anything at all that you that you fancy doing. Yeah. At least we picked a nice warm evening, Cal. <laughs> Didn't we? Plenty of spectators, I mean. Uh, probably a sheep of us. 
all the lambs that I protect all year. Here's the FH35, which is the 384 sensor version in the 35mm lens. Then we move on then to the FQ35, which as you can see is identical to the FH35, only same size, same lens, only a different sensor. And then we go for the big one, which is the FQ50, which is almost the same as the other two only the lens is slightly slightly bigger first of all here we have the hick micro falcon fh35 the fh35 has a 384 by 288 sensor sub 20 millikelvin net d 12 micron and it has a detection range of a man size object of up to 1800 meters you see here we've got the fox out in the lane, clearly identifiable as a fox. This is 100 metres, out to 300 metres, this is perfectly capable for identification. The 384 by 288 sensor does mean when you zoom in, you do lose a little bit of the image quality, so it does pixelate a bit more than what the FQ sensor would do, but it still gives a nice clear image. With a field of view of 7.53 by 5.65 degrees, it's perfect for stock in larger areas. Although it's a higher base magnification of three times, it's still a really, really clear image at longer distance as well as at closer range. You see zooming in here, it does pixelate ever so slightly, certainly compared to the 640 by 512 sensor. Here we've now got Chris and Dave out in the lane here. Um, you'll see nice wide field of view, fence, the tree line, telegraph pole there. If you compare that with the other images we'll see shortly, you'll see the field of view obviously um, is narrower compared to the FQ sensor, which is a bigger sensor and a wider field of view. Here you'll see Cathal returning back to pick up the animals. You can see some detail there, quite easily identifiable as Cathal walking up the lane there, swatting flies as he goes past. Slight pause in the video there is perfectly normal. That's just the device calibrating as it's determining the temperature difference and calibrating to make sure it delivers the clearest image. Cathal struggling a bit there with that pig over his shoulder. We could make a joke there. So here we see the Hick Micro Falcon FQ35. The FQ35 has an f1.0 35mm lens, but now with a 640x512 sensor. This is a much higher resolution sensor, delivering much more detail. Much better for longer range work, you'll be able to identify things at much, much longer distances. Um, it has a base mag of 1.8 times, so a great field of view for deer using it in woodland, for example. You can have a really nice wide field of view, but still with the potential to zoom in and the sensor delivers a lot of detail. Field of view is 12.54 degrees by 10 degrees and it delivers a really crisp image. You see the different colour palettes here. Most people use black hot or white hot for delivering the better detail, but the different red hot and the rainbow modes do allow you to find animals in cover. 
You can see here the 1.8 times base mag zooms in through the zoom modes up to 14.4 times. And unlike the FH sensor, the FQ still delivers fine detail at big distances when you're zooming in. You see here we've got the boar and the fox out in the lane. You can actually see birds and bats flying around in the background as well here, which really you couldn't see in the FH35. A lot more detail here. Here you see Cathal returning to pick up Chris and Dave. And there's more detail in the image here. You can definitely see it's Cathal walking up here. Still swatting the same fly. These devices were sat side by side as they were recording. So the footage you're seeing through different devices is exactly the same footage. Now we move on to the Falcon FQ50. This is our best selling thermal in the HIC micro range. It is a 640 by 512 sensor like the FQ35 does, but it has a much bigger and better lens. It's an F0.9 50mm lens. So this is a 26 times base magnification, again with your 8 times digital zoom. Still sub 20 millikelvin, but obviously the detection range is now up to 2600 meters. Where you see the difference with the FQ50 is at much longer ranges you can deliver better detail. So if you're section deer for example, a roe deer with FH35 at 300 metres away would be a roe deer shaped object. With the FQ50 you'll tell if it's a buck or a doe and what species it is as well, whether it's a fallow or a, a roe for example. A lot more detail as well because of the bigger lens you can see a lot more detail particularly at distance. You see we're going through the different colour palettes here as well. Again, black, hot and white hot deliver the best detail with the thermal, but the different colour palettes do yellow, allow you to pick up things and cover. As it's a 640 by 512 sensor, you see when you zoom in, again, you still don't lose anything like the detail you did with FH35. Here we've got Chris and Dave out in the lane again, and you'll be able to see the difference in field of view as well compared to the other unit. This is more zoomed in, so there's less of a field of view, so more suited for over using it over longer ranges. Here again with the Falcon FQ50, we can see Cathal coming up to the boar and the fox. You see there's a lot more detail in the image here. It's obviously a slightly more zoomed in Im image compared to the FQ35, given it's got a slightly higher magnification and a bigger lens. The detail here is incredible. Even at this kind of distance, you can see a lot of facial detail in Cathal as he's walking up. So the FQ50 definitely giving you much, much better detail, higher magnification at longer distances. Here you see the Falcon FH35 on the left and the Alt Falcon FQ35 on the right. Shows you the difference in field of view and difference in detail. So the FQ35 has a wider field of view. FH35 is also a higher base magnification. So the FH35 on the left has a 384 by 288 sensor and the FQ35 on the right has the 640 by 512 sensor. So whilst the field of view of the FQ35 is obviously larger, you can zoom in and there's more detail there and it's pixelates less due to the high resolution sensor. 
We then move on to the both the 64512 units next to each other. So the FQ35 you'll see on the left with a 1.8 times base mag and the FQ50 on the right with a bigger 50mm lens and the 2.6 times optical base mag. Again, stunning detail on both of these, loads of detail on Cathal and in the core he's carrying, loads of detail in the background as well. You can see the difference in the 645-12 sensor really makes in the performance, really does deliver a higher quality image, particularly at longer distance. <laughs> And lastly, we have Dave the Fox out in the lane. On the left-hand side, the 645-12 sub 20 milli Kelvin 35 mil lens with a 1.8 times base mag. And on the right, the Falcon FQ50 Pro 645-12 12 micron sub 20 milli Kelvin with a 2.6 times base mag. So you'll see the difference in field of view again. The FQ50 in the right given better detail. FQ35 given a bigger field of view, more suited for deer stalking, scanning around larger areas. So that's us finished. You've just seen the, the comparison of them there. So the uh, the FH35, um, you'll probably see, but it has a three times base magnification. The uh, the FQ35 has a 1.8 times base mag and the FQ50 has a 2.6 base mag. So that's why you're seeing slightly different there on the images. Um, personally, I find it hard to tell. Calvin, what do you think? The FH35. Best thing I think is ambidextrous, left and right handed. It's easier for all the fingers up here and here. Everything's great, for, especially for the price range too. Well, those, the FH35 is coming in at 15.99. The FQ35 is 2,099. And the FQ50 is 2,450 pounds. Um, personally, I think if I had to go and buy one for doing what I do, which is a lot of deer stalking, the FQ35 would probably do it for me. More so woodland stalking. You've got a 640 sensor, the same as the, the FQ50, but it has a, a lot wider field of view, as you'll have seen from the video. So, uh, listen, all these are available to buy on our website at www.scottcountry.co.uk. Mm.